We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back I'll ask for returns for you guys to smash that like button Let's see if we can get today's video over 50 likes and here we are with Tilray We're gonna talk about SNDL ACB and others in the same sector But they're all having an explosive move here towards the aftermarket hours while the rest of the market was actually pulling down lower and as you could see here popping up our spy bot sent out a bear indicator since 10.05 a.m. And from that moment forward, put options went up 100% plus within minutes. And if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, check out the link down below in the description to our spy bot, QQQ bot, newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities in either direction. So TLRY, this is reminding me of something that happened exactly a year ago in November, and I'm gonna pull it up. Actually, it was two years ago, excuse me. In November 23rd of 2020, I made this video, and we actually got over 100 likes. Let's see if we can beat that as well. But these were the main headlines that created that momentum during this time, and I stated it was the news before the news. No one really knew why stocks were going up, and I'm gonna show you a chart on that date. But it had to do with these clear words of speculation that Trump clears the way for the Biden transition process to begin after weeks of delay, meaning that the new administration was pro this sector, right? And if you come back here, you could see it there, ACB having an explosive move to the upside. And if we actually go ahead and look at different charts, it wasn't the only stock moving up higher we also had Tilray going up as you can see there on the screen but we're gonna break it all down in today's video what is going on here this is a pretty explosive move and what's going on into tomorrow what are the key levels based off our inflow versus outflow and bow and bear indicators but before we do I want to share with you guys the home and opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the discord and as you see popping up here on the screen these are some of the home runs I managed to find this week alone and while it's not guaranteed to be this way every single time we strive for opportunities like these every single day so the hormones of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so these are the three stocks i mentioned this morning all of them gave jumps at three to five percent five to ten percent plus but two of them turned out to be a home run and the first one here is mots we caught this one in the pre-market under a bull indicator the inflow stayed above the midpoint with full strength here, full strength on 42 vision, and it gave a highest point of 50% plus within minutes to an hour. And then our home run from yesterday turned out to be a home run today, which was PEGY. We caught this one in the pre-market sitting sideways. It dipped and ran up within minutes. A highest point of 20% plus was pretty risky because the outflows were dominating. And then later in the day, it consolidated, inflows picked up, got a bull indicator, full strength on 42 vision, and it gave a highest point of 40% plus. And this is one of our home runs from yesterday when we mentioned it at $2 and full strength here on 42 vision, giving a highest point of 150% plus from yesterday to today, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So here we are with TLRY, Tilray. This is the first one we're going to begin with. And then we're going to break down the others as well. I'm going to pull up the Born Bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision indicator. Getting connected over to our bots. And in today's video, I'm going to also pull up the Inflow versus Outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. And you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. And in today's video here, we have Tilray with a bull indicator since yesterday, right? And the inflows crossed here based off the 30 minute today and full strength here on 42 vision. And the inflows are overextended, probably the highest that we've seen it since the last time in March when it actually squeezed and went to highs here of 2.20 on the inflows. And ever since then, it's been in a downtrend. So I want you guys to keep in mind that the risk is really, really high here 
if you catch this in a FOMO chasing mode. So it's going to be important to watch this carefully because those that got in earlier are the ones really winning. And this is all speculation right now. Why? Because this has to do just with pardons limited, but it's sparking the legalization talk on the hill. Okay. Not something that has officially happened or even been confirmed, but the markets move with speculation and hype. And it's almost like rumors before the news and news after the rumors. You know how the saying goes, right? So you want to know what's going on here. This is just pure speculation right now. And if we come over here to ACB, Aurora Cannabis Inc., same thing, right? Got that bull indicator here towards the end of the day, and it's gone up nearly 30% plus. And those inflows crossed today at the beginning of the day, and it's been strong all this time. And then you can also look at others indirectly getting affected by this movement. Maps is another one literally sitting sideways and got that bull indicator and huge pop up and those inflows picked up. And then another one here is CLVR, right? They all look exactly the same. Their inflows actually popped up and we're going to go right through all of them, right back to them, right? Right there. You can see it. They all look similar. Not much of a difference. The inflows are holding up and it's going to be vital, right? To watch this. The main one I'll be watching is Tilray here. You also have canopy growth. That's another one. All of these are in the same sector, but some will lose momentum quicker than the other. And if this just turns out to just be speculation, no confirmation or either legalization talks in the future kind of being held up, this is going to fade away. And this is just going to be hype and momentum and dead cap bounces of shorts covering and feeling the pressure, right? So tomorrow's a big day and I'm going to be watching for these bull indicators to continue to hold up. This is based off the 30 minute, but if we zoom into the five minute, they got their bull indicators nearly at the end of the day. If you go ahead and click here on Clover, you could see the same thing, right? This one actually got it at the beginning of the day, but their inflows picked up towards the middle of the day. And right now you could see some outflows here. So it's going to be pivotal to hold up, stay above the midpoint. These inflows continue to push up. But if you zoom out, these are some of the highest inflows that we've seen since July and since way back in March, guys, do not get fooled by how quick this is moving. This is how FOMO happens. So be aware that there's high risk right now with these prices moving this fast, but it's going to be critical to watch them, right? Bull indicator, full strength here after hours, and the inflows came back down towards the midpoint. You could see how much selling is going on here, but it's still above the midpoint and the inflows coming in are holding it up even though some people are taking profits because this right here is outflows, just not enough to destroy the momentum because it did not cross the midpoint and the outflows are not dominating. So on all of these, right, I'm going to be watching for their inflows to stay above the midpoint, their bull indicators to not get canceled by bear indicators on the five minute, on the 15 minute, and also on the 30 minute and watch things on multiple time frames because when you zoom out to the one hour, those inflows are strong as well. If those start to slow down, it's going to be important to watch because again, it's been a long time since inflows have been this high since way back here in March and July for some of these stocks and Tilray, it hit 2.5 right now it's at 1.5. So based off the history of the chart and the inflows, it has room to go higher, but that's what's making these stocks move. It's going to be important to see if any news comes out tomorrow and how the shorts are reacting, if any shorts start covering, because they're definitely going to feel pressure if this continues to go higher. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below, and let's make some money.